The Southeastern Pennsylvania Transportation Authority, SEPTA, provides public transportation services in Bucks, Chester, Delaware, Montgomery, and Philadelphia counties, along with selected rail service to the states of New Jersey and Delaware. Today, SEPTA is the nation's fifth largest public transportation system, with a vast network of fixed route services, including bus, subway elevated, trackless trolley, light rail, demand responsive vans, and commuter rail serving a 2200 square mile service region. SEPTA is also one of the region's largest employers, with a workforce of about 9,000 employees. Approximately one and a quarter million trips are provided daily. As SEPTA embarks on the Fair Payment Technologies Project, this video has been created to offer prospective respondents the opportunity to visually grasp the various aspects of SEPTA's current fair media sales methods and our customers' use of fair media throughout the system on our multiple modes of transportation. This video will depict customer payment transactions along with a variety of fair instrument sales, including metal tokens, paper tickets, and magnetic passes. The sales transactions occur at over 400 locations throughout the service area. SEPTA personnel staff some of the locations, while the majority of sales takes place at and through privately owned venues. Monthly passes, tokens, and regional rail tickets are also available online at shop.septa.org. Take note that all customer fare acceptance systems must include sophisticated tracking systems to assist management and fulfill customers' needs. SEPTA customers already highly rank the ease and availability of purchasing SEPTA fares. We look to interested vendors to assist us in designing a vision to move customer satisfaction grades even further. This initial segment will depict various sales and collection aspects of the bus, trolley, and subway systems. Customers tend to arrive at sales locations at the same time, as coordinated feeder routes are scheduled to meet at a central hub. Sales volume is measured in spurts rather than over time. This customer is purchasing a monthly calendar pass with a non-PIN card. This site uses an always-on IP connection, expediting card approval. Other locations still use dial-up connections, extending the approval process to over 40 seconds. Currently, gender validation stickers are used to determine the gender of the passenger using the pass and inhibit sharing. Token and one-day pass sales are more straightforward and brisk. Over 50 token vending machines are located throughout the subway elevated lines to enhance token availability. Once the customer has a fare instrument, they are ready to ride the system. Private businesses such as pharmacies, check cashers and food stores sell SEPTA passes and tokens in order to increase foot traffic to their establishments. These businesses are often neighborhood based and do not require the passenger to travel on SEPTA in order to purchase a fare. Token and pre-printed pass inventories are delivered by SEPTA. Here is a passenger inserting his token into a bus fare box slot. If a paper transfer is needed for a second vehicle, additional coins are inserted. The next rider is using a pass, so he swipes it and finds a seat. This next fellow failed to buy a fare instrument prior to boarding and is using cash. Only one out of ten trips involve the use of cash. Each bill must be inserted into the fare box bill acceptor. If a rider needs a transfer, an additional 75 cents must be inserted. For riders with one-day passes, the operator must punch the current date on the card and return it to the rider. After riding the bus to a terminal, these passengers are preparing to board the Market Frankfurt subway elevated line. Riders holding weekly or monthly passes swipe their passes through a turnstile reader and enter, while some riders use a token and additional coin. If a transfer is needed, 
or a one-day pass is used, the rider must enter via the cashier booth, not through a turnstile. As buses and trolleys finish their runs, they visit a revenue island located within a SEPTA depot. The fare box vault is then dumped to a larger vault and data is downloaded from the fare box. These larger vaults are then transported to a central processing facility. The cash room separates, counts, and consolidates bills, coins, and tokens collected. Cash deposits to the SEPTA accounts are made daily, and tokens are recycled for reuse. This segment depicts fare payment on a demand-responsive van. This passenger is boarding the demand-responsive van using a Zone 2 trail pass and the operator records the serial number of the pass. This next person is paying with cash. Tokens and serial numbers are turned over to SEPTA while the carrier, as an offset to monthly fees, retains the cash collections. This segment depicts various sales and collection aspects of the regional rail train system. SEPTA owns and operates approximately 25,000 parking spaces throughout the area. Passengers park their cars at a park and ride lot. Each space in the lot is numbered and the passenger denotes their parking space number. They then proceed to the parking slot box and deposit one dollar into the appropriate slot. It's time to purchase a fare and since this fellow only travels three days per week he purchases a 10 trip ticket. Each portion of the ticket is date stamped and hence becomes valid for 180 days. An abbreviated sales location moniker is also imprinted. This rider is ready to purchase her pass from a ticket agent. She uses a credit card and the dial-up approval process takes about 45 seconds. The gender validation sticker is affixed to the pass and she is on her way. The next rider is using cash to purchase a round-trip ticket. Some occasional riders purchase fares with cash on board the train. This is the most expensive way to travel. Over 90% of SEPTA riders use some form of pre-purchased and discounted fare instrument. The passenger attendant issues a dated receipt and collects the cash. Other passengers use a pre-purchase ticket aboard a train. The passenger attendant punches the ticket, accomplishing validation. The ticket is then displayed on a holder during the trip and then collected at the end of the trip. Most passengers hold a weekly or monthly pass and display it during their trip. The passenger attendant may inspect the pass in order to ensure its authenticity. More than 150 regional rail stations are located throughout the service area. However, more than 88% of SEPTA's regional rail passengers either start or end their trip at one of five downtown stations. Within 24 hours of the completion of each passenger attendance shift, cash and tickets are submitted at designated remittance offices. The cash and cash receipt books are then reconciled. We hope this video has been informative as we are seeking qualified respondents to deploy a modern fair payment system throughout the region using advanced technologies. Please refer to the attached files for additional information.